What up, Melvin7 here, top 10 to 1 ratings for FIFA 17, yes you heard that right, not 10 to 4, I've got 3, 2 and 1 as well, Neymar, Messi and Suarez ratings have been leaked on EA's official website, again they fucked up, and uh, yeah, I'll show you them, but I'll go through the top 10, although you'll have already seen them, so I'll be as quick as I can with this, so we've got David De Gea, 90 rated, the second highest goalkeeper on the game, very happy with his rating overall, and uh, yeah, well, <laughs> delighted that there's another 90 rated player in the Premier League, I think the last one was Rooney in uh, FIFA 12, anyway, 90 rated Lewandowski, we saw that from the trailer anyway, uh, some good stats, Across the board, I'm disappointed he doesn't have four-star skills, but still looks amazing. Boateng, the highest-rated centre-back on the game. Fantastic stats overall. He is going to be one OP motherfucker. Then we move on to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Disappointed he hasn't got five-star skills, but he's the second-highest-rated striker on the game. 90 shooting, 85 dribbling, and 86 physical. Six foot five. This guy is going to be an absolute machine. Then we move on to 90 rated Gareth Bale. Can't wait to use this card. Looks fantastic. 94 pace, 4 star skill moves, 6 foot. He's going to be a very, very good card. And uh, he deserves that 90 rated. And then, of course, 92 rated Neuer. They released this on the trailer anyway. The highest rated goalkeeper on the game. Some ridiculous stats. 6 foot 4. He's going to be very, very OP. Then we move on to Suarez, who for some reason is 4th. Uh, I would have thought he'd be 3rd. 92 rating, though. Definitely deserves uh, the best striker in the world at the present time. And this reflects that. So 90 shooting, 87 dribbling, 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot. 6 foot as well. He's going to be a beast. Then we move on to what you've came to this video for. The top 3. Then we, uh, well, obviously we've got Neymar. Now, he's the same rating as Suarez, which surprises me when they've got him third. It doesn't really matter. They're both the same rating. Fair enough. 92. Maybe Suarez deserved to be 92 and Neymar 91. But uh, still, this card looks ridiculous. 91 pace, 95 dribbling, 5-star skill moves, and 5-star weak foot. 92 rated Neymar. It's absolutely crazy. Then we move on to the second highest rated player on the game, Lionel Messi. 93 rated. Now... Personally, I think both of these cards deserve to be the same rating, but the reason Messi is lower, I think, well, obviously Ronaldo won the Euros and he also won the Champions League, but Pez have the licensing for Barcelona and I'm sure that's creeped into EA's rating system because Ronaldo's never been higher on FIFA uh, ever before, I don't think, as a base card than Messi, but now he is. He's 94 rating, uh, rated. Don't think he's ever been 94 rated on FIFA as a base card. I think he's either been 92 or 93 ever since FIFA 11 or FIFA 12, I think. So this is unbelievable. Obviously, he's got five-star skills. Both the cards look ridiculous, and Ronaldo's always more expensive on FIFA regardless. But now he's officially higher rated. So uh, let me know what you think of that in the comments. Personally, I think they should both be 94 rated. They're just as good as each other. They've both been the best player in the world at some t uh, point in their career. And uh, yeah, they're, they're just magnificent. Like, respect them both. Enjoy them both while they're both there, in my opinion. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.